Hey y'all, it's Chris with Canine Revolution Dog Training. Uh, today we're working with Dune. Uh, so one of his uh, behavioral issues were that he got aggressive anytime he was groomed, you know, uh, pet on the touched in the fingernails all that kind of stuff so we're doing some uh, conditioning as far as grooming protocols we've done some uh, videos on this before but just wanted to show you what one of the sessions look like so right here I'm conditioning him to the muzzle so I'm simply just placing the muzzle on him for a very short period of time and making it a positive experience giving him a high value food reward something he's motivated by as well as physical touch so just just letting him kind of tolerate it for a little bit nothing nothing crazy you can see right there he's almost kind of avoiding it so he's definitely still has some work to do to get comfortable with it um, but this is this is just one of those sessions so keep in mind he's had a couple of sessions as well this is not his very very first session uh, doing this kind of stuff so you can see how he's kind of showing a little bit more relaxation uh, whereas when we first started this he was he was definitely on edge and, and showing some aggressive behaviors um, so now at this point I'm putting the muzzle all the way on so I'm putting the straps on behind his ears uh, kind of securing the muzzle uh, so this is be this would be what you know is gonna happen if we're doing his nails or, or if his family's doing his nails that kind of stuff so I'm just getting him used to actually wearing the muzzle and making it a not not such a traumatic thing right and again even with this short period of time I put it on all the way clip it give him some physical touch take it off give him some high-value food rewards right so just keeping it positive so next we're going to move on to some of the equipment that we're using and you can use whatever kind of brush, um, you know, combs, whatever it is you're using, thinning shears, you're just kind of exposing them to the equipment. Again, short bursts, making it positive. Uh, notice like I'm, I'm still holding on to the leash, you know, so that I'm still in control. Now I'm getting Samantha involved here. I'm going to have her actually brush him while I can focus on, you know, still brushing, but also providing him physical, physical rewards. You can see I bring the, I bring a little bit of that slack out of the leash. So even if he were to, uh, you know, get aggressive, let's say with me or with Samantha, uh, I still have the leash at this stage in his training. He understands communication, accountability, all of that kind of stuff. So I can still be in control and correct him for undesirable behaviors but big thing here that's not our focus our focus is getting him used to this getting brushed on the face here so that was one of his triggers as well just getting him used to this in short bursts how to learn how to deal with this stress and teach him uh, that it you know it's a positive thing so right here I'm grabbing his uh, his paws so you can see he's uncomfortable with that see how his body got a little bit more rigid he kind of shifted off of his hips uh, and he kind of pulled his paw away from me so this is obviously something he's uncomfortable with but again this is we're just gonna do this over and over and over uh, repetitiously making this a positive thing till eventually he doesn't really care about being groomed right and he's, he's definitely making good good progress with that so all I'm doing I'm just grabbing his paws at first and I might even start depending on the dog and what what the issues are I might just start to reach for his paws a lot of dogs would be triggered by that right here I'm just grabbing his paws you know so I'll, I'll grab his paws in my hand maybe I'll, I'll mess with his fingernail that kind of stuff I'm bringing out the grinder at this point this is what we use to do their nails right so I turn it on get him used to hearing it right I kind of brush his uh, his paw with the grinder so now he feels the vibration of it I and mean, it's not as uh, you know if you just just grab his paw and start grinding with the Dremel it can be very traumatizing here I'm using the back end of it so it's not as bad very short uh, period of time that I'm touching it to his nail move it away give him a high value food reward right so he's learning this not that bad we do this repetitiously and we'll build it up to the point where we're actually going to use the other end and actually uh, use the Dremel on his on his nail. So right there, he kind of gets up a little bit. I kind of want I want him. He is a dominant dog, so I want him in that down. Uh, I want him in the down. He's easier to control, and he understands the expectation. Gives him something to do. Gives him something to focus on. While we continue to make this a positive experience. All right, so lastly here, we're going into uh, using some paper towels just to clean out those eye boogies, right? So this is another thing. He doesn't want his, touch, his face touched, that kind of stuff. So again, just deconditioning it. So uh, we, like I said, we've done a more in-depth video on how to do this, but we just wanted to show you guys one of our sessions with a dominant dog uh, that displayed aggression during grooming. So this is one of our grooming sessions. All right, appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe.